dear students today we discuss the nature and significance of a branch of economics namely international economics it is well known to you that all the economies of the world are open economies having significant trade relationship with the rest of the world the economies of the world are so interconnected that any repercussions taking place in one part of the world will affect the remaining parts so a study of international economics is very important to understand the nature and extent of interrelationship between nations economies of the world so in the first session we will discuss the subject matter of international economics international economics deals with economic and financial interdependence among nations international economics deals with the international economics deals with the economic and financial interdependence economic and financial interdependence between nations and uh, the subject matter of international economics or international economics analyzes the flow of flow of goods services and the payments international economics analyzes the flow of goods services and the payments between one nation and the rest of the world between one nation and the rest of the world the policies adopted by different nations regulating these flows policies adopted by these nations regulating the flow of goods services and the payments between one nation and the rest of the world and the effect of these policies the effects of these policies on the welfare of nations so international economics analyzes the flow of goods services and payments between one nation and the rest of the world policies regulating these flows and the effects of these policies on a nation's welfare this economic and financial interdependence is affected by and in turn influence the political social cultural and military relations among nations so the flow 
the, the economic and the financial interdependence between nations is affected by and also in turn influence the political, social, cultural and military relations between nations. Stated differently, the political, social, cultural and military relations are greatly influenced by this economic and financial interdependence between nations. Now, specifically, international economics deals with the five aspects of international relationship between economies. One is international trade theory. International trade theory. International economics deals with the one, international trade theory. It is international trade theory is concerned with the, the explanation of flow of goods and services between nations. That is, the factors determining the flow of goods and services between nations on the one hand and the pattern of these flows that is, which goods are traded by which nations. International economics also deals with international trade policy. International economics also deals with international trade policy. So, this part examines the reasons for and also the effect of trade restrictions. Nations impose restrictions on the flow of goods and services and the international trade policy is concerned with the reasons for imposing these restrictions and also the effect of these restrictions. The international economics also deals with the balance of payments. International economics also deals with the balance of payments. That is, the balance of payment measures a nation's total receipts from the rest of the world and payments to the rest of the world. Balance of payment specifically deals with the, the payment and the receipts of a nation with the rest of the world resulting from the flow of goods and services. International economics also deals with the foreign exchange markets. International economics also deals with the foreign exchange markets. It is well known to you that nations of the world use different currencies. So, these currencies are traded in the foreign exchange markets. And the foreign exchange markets is an institutional arrangement to deal with the, the purchase and sale of or the transaction of foreign currencies. So foreign exchange markets and their functioning is an important area of international economics. And finally, international economics deals with the open economy macroeconomics. International economics deals with the open economy macroeconomics and the open economy macroeconomics deals, deals with the, the mechanisms to adjust or to handle balance of 
payment disequilibrium. That is, it is specifically concerned with how to achieve equilibrium in an open economy. It is the counterpart of closed economy macroeconomic equilibrium. So international economics deals with the international trade theory, international trade policy, balance of payments, foreign exchange markets and open economy macroeconomics. These are the areas specifically discussed under the heading of international economics. Also, international trade theories and policies or international trade theory and policy are macroeconomic aspects of international economics. International trade theories and policies are sorry, microeconomic aspects of international economics. Microeconomic aspects of international economics because they deal with the individual nations treated as single units and relative prices of individual commodities. So, international trade theory and international trade policy deals with the individual nations and also relative prices of individual commodities relative prices of individual commodities. So international trade theory, theories and international trade policies are microeconomic aspects of international economics. On the other hand, since balance of payment, BOP, balance of payments, deals with the total receipts and payments and also the adjustments and other economic policies that affect the level of national income and the general price level within a nation, they represent macroeconomic aspects of international economics. Since balance of payment is concerned with the total receipts and payments, and the adjustments in this area which will affect the level of national income and also the general price level. Balance of payment is the macroeconomic counterpart of international economics. So when we study international economics, we use a microeconomic framework to deal with international trade theory and policy and a macroeconomic framework to deal with the balance of payments, to deal with the macroeconomic. And this part is known as open economy macroeconomics or what is known as international finance. This part, balance of payments and the adjustments in balance of payments, etc., is known as open economy macroeconomics or international finance. Also, international economic relations differ from inter regional economic relations. Inter regional means uh, different regions within the nation. As international, as international economics deals with the international economic relations, which is different from inter-regional economic relations, different tools are required to analyze the problems of international economics. That is why we have a separate discipline known as international economics. So we have international economics as a separate discipline as we deal with the international economic relations. And international economic relations are different from inter-regional economic relations. That is, 
um, different parts of a nation. So it requires different tools of analysis, justifying international economics as a separate branch of economics. That is, what, does, what is meant by uh, differences in economic relations? As we deal with uh, different nations, we know that nations usually impose trade restrictions on the flow of goods, uh, services and factors across the borders. Why we require specific tools? The reason is, as we are dealing with uh, different nations, nations will impose restrictions on the flow of goods, uh, services and fac factors across the borders, but not uh, within the nation. Not uh, within the nation. The second one is, um, international flows are uh, to uh, some extent hampered by or influenced by or restricted by what is known as language, customs, laws, etc. Because different nations have their own customs, language, etc., it will partially affect international flow of goods, services, payments, etc. And finally, international flow of goods and resources give rise to payments and receipts in foreign currencies requiring conversion of one currency into another currency, etc. So we have a separate branch in economics known as international economics and international economics deals with the economic and other relationship between nations of the world. It is specifically concerned with the flow of goods, services and factors of production between nations. And as international economics involve different nations having having separate policies, specific tools are required to deal with the problems arising in the context of international economics. So we have a separate branch known as international economics. And remember this, these are the important areas of analyze under the heading international economics.